So normally at the end of a movie, people get up and they head out as fast as they can the second the credits come up. And I kid you not, at the end of this movie, everybody sat in their chairs. I heard at least five people go, holy fuck. And everyone sat there for at least a good minute. If that's not the sign of a good movie, I don't know what is. You're going to give me the names and the names of their victims. Are you threatening me? I was doing my job. Yeah, you and everyone else. I am here because I care. We're gonna tell this story. We're gonna tell it right. Spotlight. This movie is based on a true story about this Boston Globe journalist a few years ago who uncovered a huge, giant scandal within the Catholic churches about child molestation and exposing it to the world. Michael Keaton leads these group of journalists of a group called Spotlight, and it reminds us of how good journalism back in the day can actually be a good thing. Back then, they would spend months and months researching something before they reported it to make sure it was true and accurate, and even if it was something they even wanted to report on. Nowadays, with social media and things popping up so quick and fast, sometimes the news just puts things out there before they even know if it's true or not. Not and the it, number I just gave. Well, your number that's is seen wrong. It, that's seen, no, no, your number is wrong. Take it up with the National Institutes no, of Health, all look, right? They're I, the one that, that put it I am a out. council member on the National Institutes of Health. Your number is wrong. I'm telling you, it's 22%. You know, it, it's not like we've been up there burning fossil fuels. Uh, no, volcanoes are not connected to the burning of fossil fuels. They're no, connected but... connected to mining, but... So we don't even know when the news is accurate anymore. But that's the biggest pro to this movie, is how these actors' performances really show you the passion within these reporters of wanting to get the proper news out there, really wanting to help people. They knew, and they let it happen! It could have been you! It could have been me! It could have been any of us! Just the dialogue alone in this movie is pretty intense. We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy, and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. And considering the fact a majority of this movie is really just about finding documents that could have been really dry and boring, but the pacing to this movie is great. And honestly, during the course of this movie, I was sitting there a little shaken up a couple times just because the, the content of the movie is pretty intense and pretty deep. And I was one of those five people at the very end that was just like, holy fuck. And some of it just kind of makes you sick. Like it is kind of disturbing the things that went on. And the thing was that they really portray in this movie is that it wasn't just Boston. This is a nationwide, a worldwide, phenomenon about these child molestation things happening. It might even be happening where you are. And honestly, I was really trying to dig up some cons for this movie, but I could not find any. And I think this is two in a row, but this movie is definitely marriage material. <laughs> You're going to want to bring everyone you can to come see this movie. Also, I wanted to do a shout out to a couple other channels out there that I like to engage with. One of them is Wesley Tomsky. This guy does some great reviews. He's not a social conformer by any means. He will tell you what he truly thinks. So if you want some unbiased reviews, go check him out. Also, the Nezzy channel. This guy's great. He does great throw reviews as well. He knows what he's talking about. So please go check those two guys out. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please like the video. Also remember to comment below. I want to know what you guys think of my videos. If you're still not familiar with my rating system, please check out my rating system video and stick around after this if you want to see some more movie reviews. If you can handle it, go.